Alrighty, here we are, the first ever episode of Some Low Grade Gamers. Welcome everybody, thanks for joining us. Thank I'm you. Tom. This I'm is- Laura. And Daniel. Daniel. Daniel, can we call you Dan or do you prefer Daniel? Whatever's fine. There Dan's fine. He doesn't care. Tom or Thomas is also fine by me. So this is going to be our new podcast where we're discussing everything gaming, gaming news, gaming events, keeping up with the industry, anything you can think of, anything you guys want us to talk about as well. So without further ado, I think we're going to kick things off. We're going to do a little bit of an introduction first here. So we'll basically go around the table, introduce ourselves, tell a Tell you guys a little bit about each other, and we'll go from there. Would you like to kick things off, Dan? Yeah, sure. So, basically, one of the reasons we sort of decided to to jump on there and talk to you guys is, number one, uh, I run the lowgradegamer.com.au online gaming business, and we've been reaching out to affiliates uh, and other Twitch uh, content creators, YouTube creators, and all that sort of stuff. And that's basically how we came to be. I thought I'd just quickly jump into that. Yep. And how we, we met and became friends. Yes. So that's that's where we get the, the name of the uh, Some Low Grade Gamers from. It's it's a mashup of the two of us, which is, which is pretty fun, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to start this new venture for sure. I think it's something that is really good to do considering a lot of different, um, I guess, companies out there don't really connect as much with the gaming community as I feel that we should. And yeah, that's, you know, one of, one of the big reasons why we did decide to uh, jump in and start doing the affiliate stuff at, at the first stage is to sort of try and give back to the community as as well and I, and I think what we've found especially with you guys is is a really good um, to and fro especially now that we're jumping onto this podcast absolutely and I think that's quite cool so that's that's basically a little bit about that yeah, jumping in quite unique, I think I feel the relationship that the low grade gamer has with not only their affiliates, but their customers and, and everybody who supports them. Um, yeah, re- really, really cool business. It's really something special you started there, we think. And yeah, thank you. Hopefully, we're, we're, we're in it to support you and you're in it to support us. And yeah, it's going to go places, that's for sure. That's that's the hope anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Low grade um, game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought, uh, so what I think I'm going to jump into is a little bit of what my favorite games are to play. Please, and, please. And I guess at the uh, look, to be honest, the one big game I'm waiting for is Halo Infinite. As okay. you guys know, I was on the flight for that as well. So I did get to play it a little bit. I've, well, when I say a little bit, I played it every second I could. So it was a few hours yeah. in there. Nice. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I have been spending a significant amount of time on Destiny 2 at the moment. Oh, too much time. Lovely. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just too much time. And there is another <laughs> game that oh, okay. I have been playing over the last four days that I do want to talk about, but I'm going to talk about it later because it's actually Ooh. really annoying. It, it, <laughs> It's a secret game. Stick around it, for that. Oh, it, I'm I'm not happy. That's that's oh. basically Ooh, that's what I'm going to get into. Oh, and got some aid going on already. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to get into it, but I just oh. I just need to. So I'll, I'll, oh, yeah. I'll jump get into that. Right. Question I'll about jump Halo. into that later. Playing multiplayer because the multiplayer has been released early. Yes. Hmm. I haven't jumped onto that yet because I have been dealing with this other game. It starts, oh, yes. I'll give you a clue. It starts with a C. Okie dokie. Okay. And it, it may have had a bit of a scandal about it when it was first released. Okay. There's a couple of scandals going on at the moment. We've, oh, there's uh, plenty. 
experienced our own. It's yeah, um, it's it's one of those things that probably should have been fixed by now. Um, okay, but anyway, yeah. I think so we can guess what's going on there, but we will leave that for later. <laughs> yes. Uh, in terms of consoles, I'm actually pretty chilled with playing anything. I'm not a huge computer gamer. Okay. Uh, it actually, I wasn't. You were. <laughs> I wasn't. Now, I've been, uh, again, this is another thing that we got given access to, which is awesome, and I absolutely love the fact that uh, these developing companies and all that sort of stuff are reaching out to more and more people. Uh, oh, and it's not because we're a business. It was just we got access to it, uh, wow. which is the cloud gaming by NVIDIA GeForce uh, yes. powered by Pentanet. That has honestly been huge for me to jump back into yeah. um, computer gaming and all that sort of stuff. And the main reason is I was, I literally, I grabbed a, a MacBook from 2008, loaded it up. Oh, man. Crazy. And it worked flawlessly. Like I was Boom. playing Destiny 2. Yeah, it just it's worked just so crazy. well. We, we don't personally have it because we've got the 390, so it would be a little bit of a, a downgrade for us. But my little brother has just jumped on it, and he he reckons it's fantastic. Yeah, he, he can't speak highly enough. Yeah, the they've, done, they've done a hmm. yeah, huge job. And, and not that uh, um knocking anything at the moment, but if you have played... Uh, and if you do have access to any of the Xbox Cloud gaming stuff, in my opinion, yep. the NVIDIA stuff is actually better. The superior is interesting. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> Scandal. Look, I mean, there's, there's no doubt that a PC is, is just the more capable of, of all of the systems, um, especially when you're comparing it to Nintendo stuff. But we'll get into that later. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, the PC it's just it's just more of a beast. So it's mm. it's pretty unsurprising that their their cloud service run runs better than than Xboxes. That's for sure. I think one of the awesome things about it though is like, I mean, you you would know this quite well. In terms, if we're if we're just talking about computer gaming, how expensive it is to get into that compared oh, to yeah. a console. One hundred. Yeah. yeah, it is is huge. Whereas this NVIDIA GeForce stuff literally gives people that either can't afford it or mm -hmm. don't have the space, wh whatever those sort of things whatever. are. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've had customers, right, send me pictures where they have literally gotten their computer off a pallet. That wow. is how intense it is. Wow. And... That is amazing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's cool. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Oh, very, I, very cool. There's some cool things you can do. Yes. But, you know, sometimes there's money needs to be spent uh, elsewhere, especially when you've got a kid. Of course, mm -hmm. of course. yes. Uh, yes, they are. They're money guzzlers, aren't they? That's for sure. <laughs> yes, especially yeah. my, my four-year-old who has definitely gotten into a bit of Nintendo lately, which is pretty cool. Lovely. We're playing it's a great place to start. I love to hear that. Yeah. Some Please. Mario Kart, Super Mario Odyssey. Odyssey is pretty cool because she likes being the hat. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh, yeah, it's something you oh, can yeah, play you can together, play together. Yeah. That's, that's nice. Yeah, Laura, I made Laura be the hat. Mostly. Yeah. It's <laughs> definitely the least fun of the two options, but it is the easiest. So. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. It's good that yeah. No, she she really I'm likes like being the hat. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I just I'll Absolutely. walk Absolutely. over here. Yeah, she for has. Sure. She is definitely not very good at a hat though. She is never on top of Mario's head. It's always off. Yeah, you can't expect too much more from a four year old. No. Yeah, it's early days. Exactly. Exactly. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Well, that's probably a bit about me. So lovely. Let's jump into let's jump into you guys. Laura, who's going should... first? Laura will. All right. Well, my name's Laura. I'm from New Zealand. Um, I've always been uh, 
bit of a gamer since I was like young. We used to have um, PlayStation One, all those classics like Spyro, mm-hmm. um, Medieval. I don't know if anybody else played Medieval, but that was a great game. I can't, yeah. I can't say I haven't played it, yeah. but I've heard fantastic oh, so things. Good, yeah, so good. Um, yeah, then your classic. Uh, Pokemon and stuff so I didn't really get into Nintendo gaming until I was a bit older and I was able to get a Game Boy okay. so PlayStation the was OG my first Game Boy or um well first I got a Game Boy Advance SP but then cool. I got a Game Boy Color yep so you went backwards from yes there. Yep. I went backwards I, I, there's <laughs> nothing wrong <laughs> no, my, my first one was a Game Boy yeah. Pocket. That was my first. Oh, okay. Yeah, Game Boy Pocket with Pokemon Red, which lovely. There's I need to bring this up because I'm still traumatized. I got all every single Pokemon in Pokemon oh. Red, plus I got Mew. I don't know if, if you guys remember, but there was an event. Yep. Yep. You know, yep. At where you, you could get Mew. So being here in Adelaide, we had to go into the city. I think Always. could have been in the Maya Center. I'm not sure. I don't, that, that's, don't that remember that bit. Bad. I just wanted my Pokemon. Course, and yeah. three days later, it got stolen. Oh, right after you'd caught oh, them all. No. Yeah. <laughs> just so Pokemon Red too. Left the Game that's Boy. <laughs> took oh, Pokemon Red. But I guarantee you they knew that you'd caught all the Pokemon. Hundred percent. Easier way. Hundred uh, percent. That's team too. rocket. If I've ever heard of it. Yeah, it must have been. Team <laughs> damn, damn, Jesse and James yeah. and Meowth. Classic. <laughs> Meowth probably made some sort of crazy robot machine to come down and snatch yes, her. So right. <laughs> traumatized. Quite... Still traumatized. Yeah. Oh, classic. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I didn't really get. Um, into like yeah nintendo until a little bit later so i was originally like a uh, play- yep a sony girl fair enough but yeah then later on i got like the game boy and stuff um the ds and things and i just really loved like the ability to like game portably yep you know when you're under your desk in class <laughs> maybe yep. you don't do that though kids <laughs> <laughs> you can play Pokemon on your calculator now if you didn't know. Get onto it. If you get an emulator. Yep. yep. On your calculator. The scientific calculator is by far powerful enough. Those to things run are Pokemon. beasts. Yep. Those so, calculators, are they like $200 or something? We used something, to do that they? 10 years ago, so I'm sure you could run even more things. You could probably yeah. run Forza yeah. on your freaking calculators <laughs> these days, you know? <laughs> That's how much power they've got in it. Bit of Xbox <laughs> Cloud Gaming on your calculator. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Get on it, Microsoft. That's what we want to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but I'd say that now I'm like mainly a Nintendo girl, I'd say. We, I, yep. I'm usually on the Switch. I do love... Um, PC gaming, and we've got a PlayStation 5 as well. But the Switch is just so good because you can play it portably or you can play it on your TV, you know? I was going to say, that stems from your love of portable gaming. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Like when you're waiting for the bus, yeah. it's just it's just perfect to be able to take your games with you, I reckon. It also works really well for us because we don't have two TVs in yeah. our living room. There's only the one. So the Switch is the perfect console if somebody wants to play the playstation the other person doesn't have to sit there twiddling their thumbs watching uh, you can we're, twiddle we're... your thumbs on your switch instead yeah. exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, i was always blessed because my little brother always wanted to watch me play the game i used to oh man i used to like my brother would be doing something else i'm like can you play the playstation please i want to watch you oh you were the yeah. watcher <laughs> he's like no i'm doing this i'm like play spyro <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember fun. Spyro. <laughs> yeah, Spyro was fantastic. I was a little bit more of a crash, crash. Yeah, boy, so was I. Like, definitely alive. more of a crash. But Spyro was yeah, definitely. There's, crash there, there's is, no arguing. Yeah. Spyro is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, oh, so good. Crash is like they're, they're pretty on par, really. Oh, aren't yeah, they? yeah, both. Fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah. No fans. Yeah, I, I just I, I fell into the Crash Bandicoot universe. Um, yes. A, a little bit more than yep, I, than I Spyro, a but that all that all changed when the PlayStation Two came out. Oh, did but, it? All right. Yes. Uh, have you ever played Jack and Daxter? Oh yeah. Wow. 
<laughs> well, well, well. I think this is Has a perfect he? segue into me introducing myself. Yeah. I'm Tom. I'm 25, been gaming since I can remember. I started off with a Game Boy Advance, just the regular old one. Um, so I remember playing it in bed under my covers mm-hmm. with, your, with your torch on. Yeah. Trying to yeah, see the screen. Yeah, no backlight. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Interesting fun fact, kids. Screens weren't always lit. <laughs> yes. I I, you know what? Saying crazy. that, I remember having a blob. It was called a it was called a light blob. And it was oh, like this. Thing you clipped on the top? Yeah, it it's clipped over the top and then inserted into the side of my Game Boy Color. And it was oh. literally like this purple mass that <laughs> was cool. just malleable and it had a little crappy light in it. That yeah. <laughs> didn't do that great, but it was great. It was it fantastic nothing, at the yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> I had one of those accessories from my Game Boy as well. Yeah. Come on over the top. Um, I somehow got a Game Boy Color in there when I was younger. Don't know how that happened. If I <laughs> stole it from someone at school or <laughs> I don't know. I swear I played the Advance first, but I mean, I was pretty young. So, so maybe I just always had the color and just... Forgot, forgot I played that first, <laughs> but uh, yeah, did did have the Game Boy Color as well, of course. Pokemon, Gold, Silver, and Crystal mm-hmm. could not go past it. But the um, I guess the glory days of my gaming were done on the PS2, and this is where we come back to Jack and Daxter. Mm-hmm. I, oh my God, I cannot, I cannot give enough love to that game. It's it is fantastic. Fantastic. The, yeah, the whole the series, Jack 2, Jack 3, Jack X, their racing title was phenomenally good. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I just I just absolutely adore Jack and Daxter. Yeah, my, they're probably my favorite game franchise of all time. Yeah. Uh, Naughty Dog is... They're onto it. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. yeah I, I, I'm 100% back there. I, I still yeah. remember having... Fights with people about Jack and Daxter, Jack and Daxter versus Ratchet and Clank. Ah, yeah. See, yeah, I, I never got one. into the. I, no, I, Ratchet I, and Clank rubbish to compared to Jack and Daxter. Once you play Jack oh, and Daxter, see, you're I, all the way I, up I here. Love Ratchet and Clank too, though. Yeah. I, I adored Ratchet and Clank as well. I um, yeah, couldn't get enough of them either. And then, what about? Does anyone else remember Sly Raccoon? Sly Cooper. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think okay, his first stuff. entry came out on the PS1 yeah. and then Sly 2 Band of Thieves was on the PlayStation 2. And I remember my copy of the disc, it, it was scratched. It must have been scratched or something because I could never that finish the chestnut. final level. So oh. I I didn't, oh. I, I never actually finished the game until the uh, remastered trilogy came out on the PS3. And I, I finished it for real there. But I remember just playing... It would, it would crash, it would burn in the final level. The I final managed to get level. there once. Oh, God. I just got to the final level and explored it one time before before you had crashed and burned. And, um, yeah, so pretty close. annoying. But I still, I mean, you know, as kids, yeah, you're not really that fast. I, it's, yeah. It's a fantastic game. I enjoyed the first seven levels. You I could play most of it. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And I was happy playing them on repeat without knowing what happened. Yeah. Strangely enough. <laughs> That's the way when you're young, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, so 3D platformers definitely have a strong place in my heart, 100%. Then you've got stuff like, obviously, Banjo, Mario 64, all of that type mm-hmm. of stuff. Yeah, definitely can't live without those either. Um, what do I play mostly at the moment? Uh, Switch as well. Big Nintendo fan. I, I love the Switch. I love the hybridization of it. I know it's not the most powerful console in the world, but that's okay. Love the PlayStation 5 as well. Must must mention that. I've never had an Xbox, though. Yeah, I've never had an Xbox either. Really? Yep. I've My only... friends have had Xboxes, yep, though. Same. But... same? Yeah. But never had one myself. I've played... Obviously, we both played Halo. I say. Obviously. I have played yeah, Halo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, who hasn't played Halo at their friend's house? Yeah. You know? uh, but I've yeah never never had an Xbox. Never was the Microsoft fanboy. Yeah, I remember you know Xbox three hundred and sixty or PlayStation two or PlayStation three. Nah, I was always a Sony man. Mm-hmm. But we're not digging into the console wars here. They're all yeah. good. 
Like, <laughs> yeah, that whatever you want, you get. You know, yeah. if you life. enjoy it, that's the main thing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I just, I just had a stronger affinity to Sony's um, first party games. That's all. Like, yeah. like Jack and Daxter. That's, that's yeah. That that like. was me growing up as well. Is I, I was big on Sony, yep. and I think for me, and I, I don't know if this is the perfect segue. Um, for me, Game Pass is actually what sold me. On Xbox, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, I feel like this is a perfect segue. Now yeah. that our introductions and histories have been delved into a little bit, today's topic of interest is going to be the online systems mm-hmm. of all three of the major gaming companies being Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony. And how they compare, how different they are, what's better, what's worse. Are any of them better than the others? Are any of them lacking things? Those those type of topics. But yeah, Game Pass seems to be, just with the little I know about it, seems to be the winner of the bunch. Yeah, it sounds uh, pretty good. It was Dan's job being the Xbox enthusiast and us never having owned one. Is his job to, to dive in for that. <laughs> probably so probably please. a good idea on that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm sure I could have uh, just winged it, but it would have been nah. pretty obvious. I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, so I, if you mind our, our listeners as well as ourselves, please. I'm, I'm interested to pick your brain. Yeah, I, I think for me, I mean, I did move from the PlayStation to the Xbox mainly because of Game Pass. I I think what it brings to the table in terms of, you know, the the, the ultimate edition is $15.95, right? And we're talking Australian dollars. Yep. So $15.95, you get access to, in the ultimate edition, you get access to over 100 games that you can play on your console, your PC, mobile phone. You know, they they add new games every month. Yeah crazy yeah um they you know they add new games every month they've they've got discounted content as well and recently they added ea play as well which for those of you that don't know it is like ea's version of game pass so there's a whole bunch of other games on there like you got fifa and all the other sports related games on there plus yeah, basically everything else that EA have have released. What I, what I think, I think Game Pass does two things really, really well, and I, I think one of those things is allowing players that. And I'm, I'm going to segue back to our past a little bit on this. Not more than be, fine, more than fine. Because I, I just feel like people don't understand what. What, not what we went through when we were younger, but if 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 you got a brand new console and you received a game with it for Christmas, let's go Christmas. You just yep. you ran downstairs or out of your bedroom if you don't have stairs, <laughs> straight to your Christmas tree, and you got you opened up. You got a Sony PlayStation One, and the game was Road Rash 3D. Oh, love it. Um, which somehow got snapped. Uh, not sure. Opened it up one day, big chip missing out wow. of my Road Rash 3D. No idea how it happened to this day. Still no. traumatised. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> that was it. That was the game you played for uh, months. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Until uh, next Christmas. Pretty yeah. much. 100%. And, yeah. and, and, and then all... That was for me. Yeah. I played. Those games to there get. is a game. Then number two came. Oh my god! Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> and and it was just and, and now you've got access to literally over a hundred games. So you, you get a brand new Xbox Series X as an example. You sit down, you log in, you pay fifteen ninety five. Technically, right now at the moment, they do have a promotion where you pay one dollar and you get three months. Oh wow! So, yeah, jump on that. That's fantastic, yeah. yeah. I would. Never mind I would. if I do. Yeah. Uh, I've been on Xbox Game Pass for too long. I can't get it now. But yeah. it, especially $1 to try it out for three months is insane. Oh, 
You've got yeah. literally got pittance to lose, don't you? Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, right. it's and dollar doesn't even buy a chocolate bar. I know days. that's actually exactly what I was just yeah. thinking. Can't yeah. buy a chocolate bar. Nope. And you get McDonald's you, ice cream cone. You just get such a huge. <laughs> you get you get such a huge amount of games that that you can have access to. Where you know, like Forza Horizon Five's just come out. Bang! That was that was available on the Xbox. Yeah, You've that's got- the real kicker with Games Pass, isn't it? The fact that they're putting all of the Xbox Studio games mm-hmm. day one. Yeah, day boom, one. There it is. Absolutely. And, that's- and they're all, correct me if I'm wrong, but $100, $120 for the physical Forza. So, yeah, uh, depending on, oh. on which variant you get. But, yeah, you, you're upwards of sort of with any of these games, between 79 and up to $120. Yeah, for one game. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. yeah, and that's, and now, that's what we paid back in the day. Yeah, yeah. When the inflation take all that into account. That's what we as kids had to either save our pocket money up for, and 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 buy. It. Yeah, uh, yeah. Or wait for Christmas and our birthdays. And, and now you've now, just got access to a huge library. Like, yep. it, it's it's insane. And for me, yeah. I think, you know, I mean, it was originally sort of brought out with, you know, Xbox Live. That was sort of the first iteration of it, an idea, and I think that's where it started to blossom and then move into into what it is today. And so how long has Games Pass been available for? Game As Pass in Pass. itself, uh, I think, was launched 1st of June 2017, I want to say. 1st of um, June. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I know it's 2017, but I think it was the 1st of June. So yeah, yeah. 2017 is fine. It just brought, I mean, at the start, there, there wasn't as much going on and all those other sort of things. But as it's sort of progressed and grown, I mean, right now, and you, you can actually stream uh it's in beta at the moment, but you can actually use the ultimate platform to actually stream games direct to your series. Sorry, guys. Um, straight to your series X and, and that sort of thing, which is absolutely epic. Like, yeah, it's pretty incredible, isn't it? So you can go straight from your series X to streaming a game in less than two or three seconds, and what like one game I, I did trial over the uh, last few days was yep. uh, Forza Horizon Five. I did test that on the cloud gaming. Uh, again, it's in beta, but it honestly worked really well. There were there were a couple of stages there where you saw a, a small glitch, I guess. Okay. But so no, no drops in frame rates or anything along those lines. No, like it, it was it it definitely pushed performance over quality. You could yep. tell once it, it and, and again this is over five gigahertz Wi Fi. I, I didn't have access to Ethernet at this point, right, but there you go. Yep. it literally it, it went for performance over quality. So anytime it needed to dip something, it would it would dip the quality to make sure that the performance of the, the you know input lag and all that sort of stuff was managed really really well. I yes, was that's the most important thing absolutely. with cloud gaming. Absolutely, yeah, like playability. Yes, is yes. the main. When thing. you're streaming a game, yes, playability yeah. is first and foremost. I mean, Forza, it's beautiful. Might be yes. the best looking game of all time. Isn't um, it amazing? Yeah, it's it's it is a gorgeous looking game. But if you can't play it, you can't play it. Yeah, it's yeah. If you, performance sucks it, it looks good for nothing mm. so, yeah, yeah, yeah they've, they've done on a cactus when you're just going to drive into it yeah <laughs> <laughs> no exactly they've just they've just really started to jump into this cloud gaming stuff more and more and I, I think as as we are now i think it is really really necessary because games are that large now and the storage capacities that we've got are still so minuscule. Like yes, right. one terabyte might sound like a lot, but it's mm. actually nothing. 
Um, yeah. I remember when it was huge. I remember when I hadn't even heard of a terabyte. It was yeah. That big. Yeah. And now, <laughs> now Call of Duty pretty much is, uh, not that I should be bagging Call of Duty, but my God, it is such a big game with update after update after update. It's Some crazy. PlayStation 4s cannot have any other game stored. Damn. That's, no, that's, that's no good, is it? It's, it's, it's a bit... So yeah, I don't I don't get that when a game like um, what's a good example, Breath of the Wilds or something. I think uh-huh. that's only like eight to ten gigabytes. And like, yeah. look, I know we're comparing two totally yeah. different beasts here, but Nintendo that's one thing they do well. They do size. manage to keep their game file sizes yeah. pretty minuscule, which is yeah. even the same games, especially um, to get them on those cartridges. They that, have to be exactly. They have to be. Yeah, they don't have a choice, do they? I have a question for you before before I continue. Have Please. you ever licked one of those cartridges? Uh, oh, I've heard so many rumors, and I've always wanted to, but I've never licked one. Yeah, I, 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 I think you. you need to do it on podcast, yeah. Laura. Should oh, I? I, yep, I just had one there. Uh, Have you got one? Is, I don't want you just, to ruin my games by licking them, though. Is it the front Give or, me or the two back? Seconds, I'll be back. Oh, you're getting a game that you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> we have to. We have to get a specific one. Scully. Oh yes, Scully. Not the best game. <laughs> Wasn't really what we were expecting. At least, um, at least you'll know what it tastes like now. I know because apparently they taste like really bad to try and make kids not. If you choke get moisture in our games, I swear to God. Is it the front or the back? Oh, no, lick or all both. of it. No, Let's you lick don't. all of it. Lick oh. the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it smells. No sex- sexual innuendos at all. Oh, yeah, that does. <laughs> Let us really? taste it. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's got a real chemically taste. I mean, it smells all right. It smells normal. I'm a, I'm a chef, uh, chef for my day job, really so I'll bad. be able to tell you how it works on the palate. Oh, not great, <laughs> not great. <laughs> it's actually worse than I was expecting. You look like you, you know like what it. it reminds me of? I went back for a second lick right there. <laughs> Why? I think it's mainly the plastic. It's not so bad. What are you on about? It's fine. I, I must have it tastes it like off. kind of phosphorusy. It tastes like you know. Did anyone bite their nails when they were younger? <gasps> when that that little chemical stuff your mum when, just put on. Yeah, them? that weird. Okay, chemical now nail it polish. sucks. Yeah, now I'm going. That's oh, you what got it you have to taste. Like. Okay. It goes all the way to the back of your mouth. Yeah, it starts on the front of the tongue and then works. Its it goes. It goes everywhere really i that was worse than last yeah, okay actually. yeah it's spreading now oh it's weird it's, it's now like the 12 now people i've gotten to lick one of those cartridges i've never licked one it, oh, oh you no. should <laughs> give it a go it's you know it's an experience <laughs> yeah yeah you only yeah. live once so i would crazy. but they're all they're all customer copies i just oh, you know, what do true. i do <laughs> that's true i don't want to lick copies <laughs> Get a lick. <laughs> <laughs> At least we know now. Yeah, yeah. I have fun. always been curious. For sure. Going Anybody back to the is a Games Pass quickly. Um, do the games first of all? Can you download the games? If you if you yes. don't have a solid internet connection in Australia, I know internet is not the greatest. That's for sure. It's fine if you live in New York or if you're living in the center of Melbourne, but we live a bit out in the boonies. Are we able to download games? And my second question is, is it all of those games? Are all of them available for download? So it primarily works as a download service. So that's that's the main thing. So Game Pass is primarily a download service. The cloud gaming is something that's coming, if that makes sense. So that's still in... That's that main functionality of that is still in beta, but we, we got we're we're Xbox insiders. Anybody can be, but we're Xbox insiders, so we do get access to that early. So not all the games on Game Pass are currently available for the cloud. Um, a lot of them are, to be honest. Like when I was looking at it, it's significantly more than I thought. But okay. 
uh, I did play banjo kazooie as well. So oh, classic. That that worked perfectly. I mean, if you found any input lag in banjo kazooie, I don't know what you're doing. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's a good it, first. It, it is, yeah, it is not a very big game. So yeah, I, I think uh, to be honest, the one game that I have continued to play on cloud has in the past when we first got access um, on Android phones was uh, Batman. Okay. The Arkham Knight series. Yeah. It, that just worked so well from the get go. Um, really nice to play something that solid on yeah. your phone. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's very interesting. It's very it? cool. Yeah. I really, I really enjoy that. Yeah, especially with all the cradles that have come out now that um, you can yes. get at yeah. the lowgradegamer.com.au. Yeah. Um, <laughs> quick plug. Um, but no, like, you know, t- to be honest, we'll test all of that stuff before we actually decide to release any uh, product to our customers, especially ones oh. where it's holding a $1,000 phone or plus some of them. Of course, of course. I think uh, is it Sony Xperia just brought something out. It's like three, two. The phone um, is the one piece of technology I lag behind in. I, I have a really nice computer. I have a PS Five, but I don't. I don't need a whiz bang phone as well. You know, in my in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, you, I. You, you want one? Go for it. Absolutely. I um, I have a problem with technology, and that it's I need it. <laughs> yeah. Are you the one of those guys that lines up outside the shop on on day? No, one? I don't. I don't Hands line up. I usually. Um, I I used to actually uh, run a couple of phone stores. Oh, so okay. I, oh, cool. I, I may or may not still have connections, so I don't. I don't line up for things. Oh, oh nice. he's too, he's too VIP. Good for that, everyone. I'm, I'm one of those guys. I am one oh. of those guys. I can't. <laughs> I don't like lining up. I feel I uh, I won't use the analogy I was just going to use, but it was about farm animals. And, (laughs) yeah, I just can't – I can't bring myself to to line up, especially for – you know, while I am big technology, I do enjoy it. Like I said, I worked in phone stores and other bits and pieces. I – yeah, I just I, I can't line up for anything. Don't care what it is. I will not will not what line up. Oh. In line, oh. perfect time. That, that's right. true. That is <laughs> that is true. I, I think. And once once uh, we do talk about the switch, I'd love to go into a little bit more of the latest uh, Nintendo sixty four expansion. Because I have also been playing that, and I have some thoughts that I would like to so like do we. to share. We also have some thoughts. We have been playing that. We played it on Twitch when we first met. Actually, yeah. yes, and we became friends when we first met. That we were playing. Were we playing Ocarina yeah, at that we were stage? Yes, Ocarina. maybe. Um, yes, I, I was. I was doing some backseat gaming. Yes, uh, yes, <laughs> that's the one. Still haven't figured that out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've played it before, but. Uh, Zelda, eh? It's got away. <laughs> My, mine's but all in here. The Switch, I just want to bring up PlayStation Now. Mm-hmm. Because PlayStation Now is seemingly the equivalent of Xbox Games Pass. So it tries to be, yep. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, so comparison-wise, the biggest difference, oh, maybe not the biggest difference, but the most obvious difference is that it doesn't get day one playstation releases in fact i don't Mm -hmm. know if there's any big budget triple a ps5 titles on there at all um i personally don't have it because ain't nobody got time for that but (laughs) i have i have played it on friends and all, all that type of stuff um so it is primarily a netflix of video games so it is primarily a cloud based streaming service um as far as input lag goes, stuff like that, most of it's fine. Most of the time, you will occasionally find a little bit here and there. As I think you mentioned earlier with FPS, stuff like that, uh, they're the most obvious. Uh, but for the most part, 
you know, your gods of war, stuff like that, play, play more than fine. There, are, there isn't any issues, but it is mostly older stuff. There is, mm. there, there is an absolute butt ton of PS3 titles on there. So it's the perfect, it's the perfect vessel to get you into the older generations. If you missed out on those. So if you're only 10 years old with a brand new PS5, hundred percent recommend definitely get on PlayStation. Now makes mm. perfect sense. Go, go, go explore the origins of some of your favorite franchises. But if you have already played them, may, maybe it's not worth it for you. I, yeah, that, that, that's my thoughts on, on PlayStation how, Now. How much is PlayStation Now? Just out of interest. Now, I'm just looking at my notes now and I didn't write that down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I feel a bit stupid. Did you write it? I thought I saw it in another note. No, nah, um, that's uh just PlayStation Plus, unfortunately. Uh, well, there you go. Yeah, so a uh, quick quick intermission while we look that up quickly. Sorry about that. I didn't do my job properly. PlayStation now price. Yes. Right away <laughs> we go. Fifty nine ninety nine. Nice. That was fast. There you go. I knew it was significantly <laughs> cheaper. So it's sixty bucks a year. Um, so five bucks a month, mm. not bad. Bargain, yeah. Absolute. If you play one game on it, you've got you've got your cheaper money's than worth. Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, it's cheaper than any streaming service actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Even Anime Lab costs us eight bucks a month. So, I, I think one of the biggest things that I get out of this online gaming stuff is, as I said, as a kid, you didn't. We didn't have access. Yeah, we had one, exactly. we had one game. Yep. Now, about I mean, even the free games, right? Like you can play. I, I, I'm a big fan of Apex Legends. I think Apex Legends okay. is fantastic. Uh, Destiny Two. If you've got Game Pass, you've got Destiny Two Plus expansions, which is awesome. Definitely nice. Destiny Two. Destiny Two. <laughs> um, You've had it here, folks. You must play Destiny 2. I'm a huge fan. Join my fire team. We'll, we'll couldn't play games. Tell. Couldn't tell. Um, <laughs> so I, I think, you know, I mean, Apex Legends, like I said, Warzone, Fortnite, all yep. of these Battle Royales, Halo Infinite, when that... Um, that drops, yes. Yeah, when the, when the whole thing drops. I think it's, it's just so different. And I, I don't think I can... And it probably comes across in my voice, but I can't convey how awesome, even even if this service, because you know a lot of people are bagging these online services at the moment. That's that's obviously one of the reasons why we just started talking about it today. Awesome. But mm-hmm. to think of where they, they where they were and where we are now oh, is, yeah. is night and day, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is night and day. I mean, even the uh, offerings by Nintendo now subjectively or objectively game pass is the best right yeah. like i think i think i, I, I think that the agreeable. access to the games the fact that it's pc as well you get mm-hmm. discounts on top of that plus you get perks so you know you'll get free skins and other bits and pieces yeah you know, throughout the thing plus ea play on top of that um, yeah that's that's a bit of a game changer you know, and yes, it does cost a, a little bit more, but again, I was say, it's by far the most expensive out of all the online options. So it's you yes. get the most, though, but for you sure. do get the most out of it. Yes, yeah, hundred percent. And you know, game like day one titles from places like Bethesda, um, who yeah. are owned by oh. uh, X- Xbox Game Studios, but yeah. like that's huge Com- compared to the oh, PlayStation that's... Now stuff. While while I mean, price wise, that's fifty nine ninety nine is pretty good. But oh, yeah, it's great. You know, I I, I really want to play Spider Man. Yeah, like, okay. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, I I'd, I'd love to uh, jump on and play Spider Man, but not being uh, not releasing to that service, I, I think they're letting themselves down a little bit. Uh, yes, I think Sony's strategy is still very much we need to sell these games. We need to sell them at full price. Um, don't know if our audience is aware, but most gaming consoles these days are sold at a loss. So the only way to make money for these companies is to sell the games. Mm. Um, so Sony's very much in that mind. I, I'm a very physical gamer. I love having physical. There's like some of our Switch 
collection in the back here if you're available on video. But so I I, I will always spend the hundred dollars, whatever, hundred and twenty dollars it costs me for the latest Ratchet and Clank. But I I will always spend that regardless of if they're available on on another system or a games pass type deal. But as you said, again, going back to when we we're all kids, kids have options now. They don't mm-hmm. have to spend six months worth of pocket money on one Ratchet and Clank game. They can spend six months of their pocket money on oh, so six months games. of Game Pass. Absolutely. Yeah. And that is the game. Ch- they can spend half the amount of money it cost me to get Ratchet and Clank mm-hmm. to get PlayStation Now access to 800 games for 60 bucks a year. Mm. That's insane. That is ridiculous. It's huge. And okay, they're older games, but there is 800 of them. Yeah. Like, I think yep. 150 are available for download. So again, primarily a streaming service. You, you can't go wrong with that. Like, yeah, I, I can't complain. I don't think anybody has the right to complain. I, it might not be as good as Sony. I mean, as Microsoft's Game Pass... But it's a great deal. And I yeah, wish awesome. I had yeah. something half that good when mm-hmm. I was young. Yeah. I didn't 100. even know the PlayStation line had internet connection. That's how, <laughs> that's how young yeah. and stupid I was. I didn't, didn't even know you could do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the what thing, is isn't it? Like yeah. that Ethernet port at the back of the PS2 is an example. Yeah. What, what is I, that? I, I never, ever plugged that into anything. Me neither. No, neither. I just sort of looked at it and been like, what's that called for? Yeah. That yeah. hole. Well, that's a nice hole. I'm, yeah. I'm more interested in the, uh, in the memory cards. The card memory cards. Yeah. 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 Built-in saving and memory is a feature that I still enjoy getting with my consoles, yeah. even though it's I would standard. always lose my memory cards. Right? Yeah. Having to switch them in and out, which one of my four memory cards has my Tony Hawk save data on it. Oh, crap. It's what the a up- mission. Yeah. This one actually has the park I made, but this one has my character. <laughs> <laughs> that's It's true, though. Like It's that's it's huge. I mean... Oh, technology's come a long way. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I just, uh, I think that's just one of the biggest things that I, I wanted to express explicitly is I, I think we need to be a little bit like, you know, we need to hold companies to account. Don't get me wrong. Um, and I, I would expect my customers to do the same thing to, to us. Definitely. But we at the same time, later yeah, on. Let, let's, let's be a little bit, <laughs> let, let's, let's be a little bit, um, you know, positive about what what we do have access to. In saying that, though, uh, Laura, talk about Nintendo Switch Online and um, what's going on there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, the Nintendo Switch Online, not quite as was bang as the others we've discussed today. There's no doubt about that. Um, Cloud saves there, uh, going back to the memory (laughs) card discussion, um, they don't even work for every game. It's only really? compatible games that Cloud Save is available for. What? Not even all Nintendo games. What? It's it's actually ridiculous. Know. Yeah, um, like Pokemon Sword and Shield, no Cloud Save. Animal really? Crossing. I knew Animal Crossing because they don't want you to get two islands or cheat the game game uh yeah. correct me if i'm wrong animal crossing people spend so long on it it's like the the save file that i would be devastated to lose yeah and it's the one that you are more, most likely to yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, that's, yeah people spend thousands of hours mm-hmm. on that game i know yeah, yeah. finding the perfect yes yeah, splatoon 2 can't, Splatoon 2 yeah no really? cloud save either why is that um something about cheating okay I'm not. I'm not quite sure why. I, yeah. I honestly feel this is this is where I think Nintendo's letting themselves down, right? Yeah. Because oh, sure. the and I am a fan of Nintendo. I enjoy Nintendo. Um, yes. Disclaimer, right? We both big Nintendo gamers, so yeah. I, look, I'm I'm huge on Nintendo, and I love my Switch. The Switch yeah. is the most innovative console. Oh, to sure. to come out in the last. 10 years, as far as I'm Absolutely. concerned. Oh, well, they, they, that's what they're good at, aren't they? Look at the Wii. Yeah. That, that 
that changed it. Where you didn't work for them, but you know it was still pretty innovative. Yeah, and then just yeah, and I, I think that birthed the switch though. At it the did. end of the day, the, the, the Wii oh, U, I think, birthed the Switch. So don't get me wrong. I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I've got a Nintendo Switch. Yep. I Like I said earlier, I play it often with my daughter. Uh, I've, I've got Pokemon Shield. I played that to death. Yep. Yeah, Breath so of the good. Wild, awesome game. Oh, awesome. Favorite but game of all time. Cloud gaming stuff. It Like... Correct me if I'm wrong here, because I don't do any any cloud gaming on the on the Switch. Yes. But as an example, if I'm playing uh, Warzone or something like that, yeah, uh, we can use Xbox Chat, which mm-hmm. is far better than any in-game <laughs> chat by far. Okay. okay. But you need an app on your phone. Yeah. To do Splatoon Two and Smash Brothers. Mm-hmm. Is that that? The voice chat yes. is yeah. It's only available through another app on your phone. Mm-hmm. So you've got to have these two devices going. Maybe you've only got headphones in your switch. You have to take one out to be able to listen to your phone, or vo- you might as well just call yeah your friend uh, when yep. it's on your phone. That's, might as well just call them. That's actually what we have done in the we past. We just call our friends. Yeah, we played Diablo 3 through lockdown last year. We mm-hmm. played that quite a lot with some of our friends. Um, and we just lied on the couch with our phone, my phone on like my chest. Yep, here. right about here. And the, there's two of us, so it make things clunky and weird. But yep. we, that's how we had to do it, just through Facebook Messenger. It Useless. Was, it was better. It, that's... Yeah, it's I just don't get it. Now, look, I know Voice we chat. were just saying about being grateful for what we've got. And we are grateful to Nintendo for releasing some fantastic 100%, games. 100%. But, um, oh, and give us voice chat. Voice chat makes a game so much more fun and so much more enjoyable. It so not really having does. it, it's really and easier. disappointing. E- it's much easier. We were playing uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 mm-hmm. online with a couple of blokes from Japan mm-hmm. and th- that game's all about searching different rooms to try to find all mm-hmm. the ghosts to progress to the next level. We didn't know what they were doing or where they were going. We would just both go and we were, we would quite often around. both be going in the same direction and they'd run to a door and we'd run to it and they'd be like, Oh wait, they're going that way. And we'd think the same thing. And then we'd all four of us would move to the next door. Mm-hmm. If we had voice chat, it we could have communicate. Been a it would yeah. not have been a yeah. problem. I feel like that's a basic feature that should ex- it, it should exist. Mm-hmm. It really yeah. should. I don't understand why. I was actually thinking about this the other day in preparation for this podcast. Is it is it because so much of their audience is younger? Because there's no doubt Mario appeals to a young audience. Mm-hmm. So. And I know firsthand that COD gets very toxic and very intense on voice Maybe chat. Maybe that's times. why. Yeah. So that's the only thing I could think of. Look, I, I think those are definitely aspects, but I, I think at the same time, both Xbox and PlayStation manage, mm-hmm. you know, the, Microsoft and Sony, I should probably say, manage yep. those aspects relatively well. You know, like there's, there's, Toxic. There is definitely toxic people in in COD. There's actually very toxic people in Dragon Ball Z Fighter Z. There oh, is hell? some. Oh, you should see. Oh. My brother sent me a message the other day. Actually, I don't even know if I can read it. Let me see oh, if no. I can even read it. Uh, uh, we need the sense of. You get it. You get it in everything. Yeah, my there's brother... toxic people at the supermarket. Yes, you're so right. Yeah, my little brother's um training to be a uh what's the game laurie rocket league rocket league pro that's i feel like that's his dream at the moment uh he might be angry at me for saying that (laughs) but i'm pretty sure that's what his ultimate goal is and yeah he finds that community very toxic very Mm. sarcastic and all around not not cool and he says that it makes it hard sometimes to just go and play online because, you know, first and foremost, he wants to have fun. That's why he plays the game. Yeah. That's why he put 500 hours into it because it's fun. It's a good game. And it loses some of that if 
you know, you happen to mi- you you might be the best player in the world. You're still going to miss a shot every now and then, and mm-hmm. it doesn't help when people are like, "Oh, great shot! That was amazing! Yeah, beautiful save!" Mm. And just suck, and it just 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 puts a damper on it a bit. One hundred percent, and I, like I, I've got the message here, so yeah, I, will, I, I will read it, but I will beep. I will beep certain. I'll say beep. Yeah, yep, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uninstall the game. You play like a beep. Just commit. You're a worthless human. Wow. With dead grandparents. Wow. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Straight to the grandparents. Yeah, that's it. Man, to- this and to- this toxic people in Among Us. I was gonna say that. Yeah, go on. We were playing it on stream the other night, and there was just some some people get just so invested in it, you know. It's a game. Yeah. Calm yep. down. We had this one person who was the first person to die, and Among Us is has quite a young audience base it as does. well. It's worth yeah. mentioning. So this person could have been seven. Mm. Um, the person doing the abusing could have been seven for all we know. Yeah, true. And they were the first person to be killed. They hung around for 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, till the whole game was over, just so at the end they could tell somebody to end their life. Very intense. And then just left the lobby straight away. Like, oh, I just as I was about to ban them, they left, and I was like, "No, you didn't even give me the satisfaction of banning you." <laughs> it blows <laughs> my mind how, like, these are just games, guys. Yeah, like the point is to have fun. Do you know that's that's one of at least thirty messages that yeah. I oh, that I just yeah. read out there. That's, that's just, not the that's, that's countless examples. Yeah, maybe it, that's one of the reasons why they don't want voice chat on the system. But it's easily managed because you can just block like ban people like in all the other games yeah. and things, you know? Yeah. Well, as you I, said, I, among us audience base is quite young and that's still available. Yeah. They've got... I, I think it's yeah, it. one of those things that can be managed. It's yeah. especially parental controls. I was going to say, Nintendo have a pretty good parental control mm-hmm. system already. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, Xbox is, 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 is quite good. I helped, I helped a friend of mine set it up um, yep. because... Uh, to be honest, their son was getting a little bit distressed. Uh, oh, really? He, he, yeah, he was. He was. He's seven, eight years old, and yep. he was getting a bit distressed uh, playing Fortnite with See? some of the um, conversations that were taking place. Mm-hmm. And you know, he he didn't want to report anybody because he was also worried that that would get back to that person. Of, yeah, you, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, so, no. I- Fair, fair fear. Yeah, so he he was scared of that. So you know, I jumped in and I, and I played around with the um, parental controls on the Xbox, and they do a good job. If yeah. if you're yeah. being a and I'm gonna say these words, which I don't know if it's PC, but if yep. you're a responsible parent, mm-hmm. you can manage and, and and by responsible, right? You need to if if your child or or whatever it is wants to do something. You sometimes need to move outside of your comfort zone to learn the oh, different yes. aspects. Now, I'm not trying to say that people, if they don't do it, they're a bad parent, right? I'm not trying no, to say not that. At all. Not but at all. What, what I'm saying is sometimes you need to, like, this friend reached out to me, yep. right? He doesn't know anything about stuff, but he reached out to me and said, Hey, I need a hand. This is what's happening. He's getting a bit distressed. Can you help him out? Yep. If you don't know yourself, uh, ask for help. It's, it's okay. Yeah. And, and, you know, the, these people, these consoles and, and stuff, they, they've got these parental sort of stuff in place. So I think Nintendo, like, what was what was the last uh, Nintendo Switch update? Is it, is it number 13, I think, that they're up to now? Yeah, 13 points. That just brought in Bluetooth audio. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> like... <laughs> I know. Why? So Why? It's always had Bluetooth connection. I remember people blaming yeah. that on the hardware, like, oh, it, it can't support it. Doesn't have the internals for that. Yeah, it was an update, so the internals were always there. yeah. No, oh, that's how you. That's how your uh, Joy Cons yeah. connect. Yeah, it's actually via Bluetooth. Yeah, Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, so you know, it, it's number one. It's rubbish. Mm-hmm. Number two. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. I haven't used it yet. Uh, yep. because it's been that long 
since it hasn't had it. So I've, you know, like it's just something where I haven't actually tried using it yet. But apparently what I what I read somewhere is that you can't then use Wi-Fi as well or something. Oh, okay. With the Bluetooth If you've got the Bluetooth audio going, there is some other radio channel, I don't know if it's Wi-Fi or whatever it is, that does okay. not allow it to function as well. I'm a okay. pretty big audio guy, so all of my audio is always wired. Um, just gives better better connection. See, I, I I hate cables with a passion. I am a big wireless no, person. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, no, each to their own. So I can't actually tell you. Yeah, I've actually never used the wireless no. audio feature on the. Yeah, Switch. neither have I. And look, I'll I'll do it before our next uh, next podcast. Me too. We should probably. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll do it before our next I podcast. Yeah. Cool. Which uh, comes out actually, weekly. We'll let uh, we'll let you know what's going on with the Bluetooth audio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I think it's it's some, well it's something that I'm going to explore anyway because I want I want to have yeah. a bit of a play with it. But no, why not? There's just a few things that I think Nintendo are, are letting themselves down, and I'd oh, really excellent. voice chat's the mate. Just one thing quickly before we move on from voice chat. I the most, the funniest thing about it is we recently did a video on our YouTube quick plug here, youtube.com forward slash some kind of gaming. Go check us out. We recently did a hardware review on all these third-party controllers. A lot of them have <laughs> a headphone jack. Yeah. <laughs> so, In the hopes yeah, that so one day They're it just holding out and they won't have to release a new model of their third-party yeah. controller. I think we're all holding out for this. We same are thing. all holding out, hope. But it's yeah. just—it's so funny that other co- third-party companies expect this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think everyone expects it. That, like the cloud saving, the voice chat, um, the switch is missing so many intrinsic things to an online system that haven't been updated for this whole time. But what they've been focusing on is trying to release all of these classic games on the online system to make it more worth it for players, even though I think what the players really want are these functionalities. I agree. That's what would really improve the system and make it worth our money yep. rather than, okay, so for a year's worth of Nintendo online service it used mm-hmm. to be nineteen ninety nine. For and a so, year? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. That's pretty good, isn't it? $34.99 for a family pack. Which is what we That's use. what we usually get. So that's mm-hmm. just the pricing that, <laughs> that yep. I think of. So trying to make this online system more worth it, they've just released the um, expansion pack, including the Nintendo 64 games, Sega games, and some DLC, interestingly enough. Mm, that um, interesting. Yeah, for $49.99 a year, or seventy nine ninety nine a year for a family pack, which is such a huge upgrade. Now that's coming up to PlayStation prices because for PlayStation Plus for a year it's eighty dollars, so that's only thirty dollars more, and you get a lot more. Mm-hmm. You still I, I, get games with the PlayStation. Plus features, you get 18 free classic games or PlayStation 4 titles, actually, if you're on the PS5. You get discounts, all, all the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it just it just feels like they dropped the ball there. Like, I don't mm-hmm. I don't understand what we're looking at, if that makes sense. Like, Great. I don't know what your opinions are of the uh, Nintendo 64 expansion. But they did a significantly better job of doing the Super Nintendo. Yeah. yeah. The that seems button to be the general consensus. Is a huge thing, in my opinion. Like Agreed. with the Super Nintendo and things, you had the option of, I believe there was a couple of different bu- button maps that you could choose from. Yep. Make it easier for you, whatever kind of controller you're using. For the Nintendo 64 one, there's no other option for button mapping, and it's all messed up. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, the 64 controller was... Um, Strange. Yes, yes. We all have interesting memories of that, I am sure. Very interesting choice there Very... in that generation. <laughs> it's a classic, don't get oh, me wrong, but... It's great. <laughs> it's but it's also not great. Controller. <laughs> no. So I get that it's hard to map onto of a modern-day controller. 
that they could have done a better job. Or given an option or something. A hundred percent. I, th- I think op- providing options is what Nintendo doesn't do. I think that's the yeah. biggest takeaway from today is it's just like, okay, this is it. Yeah, this is what that's you That's it. Get. And then there's just silence. That's Yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah they're, not, they're not very good at communicating. I mean, look, we have an option now to get the expansion. At least they didn't just jack the price up and and say you're getting this, this now even and, if you don't yeah, want Yeah, the Nintendo's this much now and yeah. you get this extra stuff. That's true. Exactly. At least that's an option. I, I but would, yeah, apparently... Yeah. This I, I, I've got my theories about that. Um, I, 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 would, I dare say mm. it will be uh, absolved into one. Yep, yeah, they're going to phase out the lower tier. Yeah, it, it would. I, I would definitely say that that's what they're going to. That's what they're going to do. Force people to upgrade, which yep. I actually don't have that much of an issue with if the content was there. Yeah, yeah. you know, so, like it, it's cool that they've released, you know, Ocarina of Time, and they're going to redu- like release Majora's Mask. The fact that they oh. got Banjo Kazooie is insane. That's- yeah, very yeah, that's cool. something else. Isn't it? But it looks, it doesn't look very good on the Switch. Like, I now people are going to hate this, right? People are going yeah. to despise me for saying this, right? Yeah, we, the yeah, purest. Yeah, the bad guy. I, <laughs> I want to use the full screen. Uh, oh, yes. I want, yeah, I want the full thing. Why, why am I, I want using. Square in the middle. Yeah, what the, what the hell? Is going uh-huh. on, yeah. Yep. Especially because the sides aren't just pure black either; they're this weird off-gray color. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not a fan of. Yeah, I it would be okay it. if it was just blackness. Yeah, I was I literally just... so right. excited to play Ocarina of Time, mm-hmm. especially after watching you guys, and I thought that's it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump onto it. Yep. Within, so I got the sword. I got the shield. I went to the Great Deku Tree. Yep. And I went. I can't handle this anymore. Really? Just couldn't do it. I don't. I just don't like the side things. I just. Um, oh no. yeah. Interesting. So I, we're not super picky when it comes to that type of stuff. If I've I, definitely noticed it though. Like even playing, I was playing um with the Zero Two controller the other night. Playing um. Yep. Yeah. Yoshi and things and yeah I I really was noticing that it's just this square especially on the OLED they made the screen bigger yes I yes. want it to be filled with game mm-hmm. and and it's capable of doing such awesome blacks now that and they're just not it's yeah just, it's just great I definitely did notice there yeah okay see that doesn't bother me personally all that much um I don't know if I just don't look at it or I'm too enthralled by a game or, or what's yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you, but yeah, it's just, I, I personally haven't, haven't found an issue with it. So it's not something that everybody is going to have an issue with. Oh no, of course not. I, I just think That's- the fact that there's not the option to just press a button to change it to 16 by nine, whatever the, whatever the standard is. Yeah. What, why is, yeah, I want that. Just let me yeah. press yeah. the damn button. I want it. Yeah. And I hate the I fact that... It doesn't seem like that hard a feature to implement either. Mm. Yeah, and I, I dislike the fact that it's the icons are, are stay there. Yeah, you can't remove the HUD. Yeah, go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I a, want my that's screen. It's a standard feature in almost every video game. Being able now. to remove the HUD. Yeah, absolutely. So I feel like, yeah, for the online service, they probably should have done that as well. Now, yeah, I feel like it's important to note that we got the upgrade expansion pass day one. Uh, and mm-hmm. it's not just because we're Nintendo content creators. It's because we we wanted it. We genuinely, yeah. genuinely were excited about it. We wanted it. I never had a Sega Genesis. Yeah. Um, so to be able to experience some of those, I know they're available on the Sega Genesis collection. 90% of them are just from the eShop. You can buy yeah. it as, as a game, but I, I didn't. Mega, so, Mega Drive for those of you. Yes. Uh, that's the, the, the Australian name is uh, Mega Drive and Genesis is the US. The only reason yes. I point that out is because oh, we yeah. have a significant amount of issues 
Really? Uh, oh, really? Dealing with, yeah. Yeah, we, we have uh, not issues necessarily, but customers will contact us and say, do you have the Genesis cable or the Mega Drive cable? They're mm-hmm. the same cable. Yes, mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Maybe um, you just have to slash through. Yeah. Genesis yeah. Slash Drive. Yeah, yeah. No, we have uh, just... It still confuses people. It's, it's, I love it's, it. Yeah, it's it's still reading. It's, it's hard. Come on, man. You should yeah. know that. <laughs> I, I think I think because the Sega Saturn is so different. Yep. To the to the Mega Drive, I think that's where the confusion comes in because they do right. have the different name. I mean, think about it. Who who else has a different name? Yeah. No. It, no. It's it's, bit, it's you know other countries. It's not the Nintendo Flip. Or no, something. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trademarking that name honest. just in case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love but, it. You, you know, that that's what doesn't make a whole lot of sense about the Sega side of things. Yes, but I agree. Have you played any of the Sega games? I, I haven't actually played any of the Genesis uh, Mega Drive games. At, so at I have Echo. Yeah, I haven't spent a lot of time with them. Um, yeah, play, played a little bit of the Castlevania. I can't even tell you what one it is. There's a Castlevania game available on Echo, there. We played Echo the Dolphin for a little bit. We did, yeah. Spent most time with Echo the Dolphin because, I mean, who doesn't want to play as yeah, a dolphin? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Right? Yeah. <laughs> We're a big fan of retro aesthetics as well. I love, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so... I, for us, it was completely worth it. We don't have access to a Nintendo 64 right now. Um, yeah, so we whatever, have no other way to. Yeah, whatever one we have, children, they're gone. See you later. All our friends don't have them anymore either. So we, yeah, we currently don't have access to a sixty-four. So if we want to play, if we want to play Yoshi's Yoshi's Story, I think it is, or soon to be F, the F Zero game. Awesome! Mm. Super excited for that to come. Majora's Mask, all that, all that type of stuff. We can't. Mm-hmm. So. It's entirely worth the extra, what is it a month? Like $20, $30 a month. Yeah, 20, 20 or 30 bucks. I, yeah. I think it's a year. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. For, for you a year. have to get it. That's another issue. You have to get the year. You, you can't, can't get, get a monthly the expansion subscription monthly. like with the um, base. base online service. It yep. has mm. to be the whole year. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I think, look, I think if you want to play Mario Kart online with your friends, the 60 Mario Kart 64. If you want to do that with your friends, you'll have your money's worth in one session. You will have had third 20, 30 dollars worth of entertainment in one gaming session, just being able to play old school Mario Kart with your friends. It if has you, some issues online though, the yeah. 64 version. Yeah, okay, yeah, go on. Go on. <laughs> yeah. It's worth it, I'm telling you, it's good. <laughs> I, it's, I think it's, it's, it's good. It does have some issues, though. The, yeah, I've, I, yeah, yeah I've, I will be. I would pay thing. more. That's the thing. I, I would have no issue paying more uh, for that service if I got access to the games. That's mm. that's the biggest problem with Nintendo so far. The, the way I see it is no, number one, they're very, very protective of their um, IP, right? Like. Mm-hmm. Which I understand. Don't get me wrong. Oh, totally fair. But at the same token, they need to also try a little bit harder to get that stuff accessible on the Switch. I'd pay a hundred bucks a year if it had number one more content on their sixty-four wise. But yep. if the sixty-four experience was a little bit customizable, yep. I think Breath of the Wild has screwed me. I love that game so much. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, it's fantastic. So it? good. And I've, I've gone it's back awesome. to play Ocarina of Time and yes. and I don't have an issue playing Ocarina of Time on the 64, by the way. We no, we no. trialed um, uh, we've, we've trialed a bunch of HDMI adapters for the Nintendo 64. Right? Oh, cool. So and I'd we were using uh, Ocarina of Time, Blast Corp, and uh, GoldenEye to do those testing. Yeah, and the, the, there's a big reason why we use those three as well. Mm-hmm. But the I had no issue playing it. Whereas it's a fantastic experience, still absolutely. Yeah, and and yeah, even with the converter, I mean, 
a lot of converters, and this is something that people need to uh, look out for, and I know I'm, I'm deviating from the conversation a little bit. That's nice, but Ron. Offshoot. The, there is a very, very popular converter out there uh, that we do not sell because I refuse to. Mm-hmm. It basically does not work with all games, oh. which sounds odd. But Blast yeah. Corpse and 007 GoldenEye, if you have those yeah. two games... Those two games are going to be the ones that are going to f- find the issue. Ocarina of Time's a little bit more forgiving, but GoldenEye you and Blast Corps, you'll Dude, basically have an epileptic fit. If you can't play GoldenEye on your 64, then what's the point of having a yeah. 64? <laughs> that's um, It's like, that's it's the, not the most popular 64 game ever. Can yeah, you imagine if they yeah. a- actually managed to bring that to the Switch with online Oh, right. Yeah. I think there's a couple of licensing issues there. I'm not holding oh, my breath. Yeah, no, one. there's... there's I um, a lot of people might be swayed to get the expansion pack if that was the case. Though. I agree. Yes, 100%. Oh, 100%. But, again, I need the experience to be a little bit more customizable to my... I agree. I think you should be able to remap the bat- the buttons, <laughs> the buttons <laughs> to whatever you would like. Uh, the 64 had the A and the B button swapped over. So... Yep. They've done that on the Switch. So when it tells you to press A, you actually press B, uh, which is, it's look, you get used to it in about 10 seconds. It's it's not a massive deal, but it can be quite annoying. Mm. Um, yeah. So if, if just give us the option. Just give yeah. us the option to remap them. Options um, are nice. In Sin and Punishment, I was playing the other day. Great game. Definitely worth checking out if you've got the online service. No excuses now. It's basically free. Mm. But... Great game, but you have to press, I think it's ZR or ZL, and then the D-pad was the that yellow up, down, left, right that the 64 yeah, had. The C buttons. Yeah, yes, yes, sorry, the C buttons. Um, so I was pressing ZL, but that's also mapped to a button, so it would move my character as I was going to press the D-pad for the C buttons. So it, it really didn't work all that great. Yeah. It was just a strange I just it was just a strange choice. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Interesting I, choice. I would have preferred to just yeah, map it how I wanted to do it. I don't think I even used the D pad anyway on the yeah. control for anything else. Mm. So why couldn't I just forget about pressing Z L and just just map it how I wanted it? That mm. that would be that would be ideal. That would be better. Yeah. What what about the fog, Dan? Have you heard about the fog? No. So, old school games, as I'm sure you're aware, they were heavily shrouded in fog. Mm-hmm. Uh, Silent Hill, best example. That's why the classic, oh, the fog, it's just part of the horror aesthetic. No, it's so you couldn't see pop-ins. It's yeah. so the game could run and look good. So assets weren't constantly popping in, in, in and out of your screen. Yeah. Not an issue these days. So they're able to remove the fog out of all of the 64 titles. So if you go to the water temple in Ocarina of Time, not aware there yet, some people reach that temple in in like, I swear, like three hours after the service was released. It was insane. But there's no fog. There's no fog there. As well as one of the courses in Mario Kart. Yes. Yeah, a couple of them. Yeah, so you can see. I have heard this. Yeah. Is tended. Now, we, we, we didn't have an issue with that. Oh, you can see a bit further than intended. Cool. That's, that's, that's no big deal in our opinion. Okay, the water entrance to the water temple looks a bit different. Again, no big deal. But some people do ha- have issues with that. It does look cooler with the fog. Yeah. I, it definitely looks cooler. And that it, I feel like it's most obvious in the recent GTA trilogy yeah. definitive edition thing mm-hmm. I'm, really... I'm glad we're talking about gta yeah <laughs> i think that's uh yeah we've got to hold companies to a high standard but that they have re- removed all the fog in that as well so if you're in an airplane in san andreas or whichever one you're playing the whole map you can see the whole map like the whole island and it looks flat and boring and not good I don't know why everyone's taking the fog away. It adds such a cool atmosphere. It does. Yeah. Can you imagine playing Silent Hill with no fog? It wouldn't oh my be God. Silent Hill anymore. <laughs> yeah. 
It's, but, have you seen this movie? The it's all in. about fog. <laughs> leave it in. It looks yeah. cool. Yeah, it, yeah, I agree. So, look, we I personally haven't taken – I can't speak for you, Laurie, but I personally haven't taken an issue with the fog, at least in the 64 games. In GTA, it looks shit, but in – the 64 mm. I don't it would have, have been a, a nice addition it. and also it just would have been nice for them to have remained a more true reproduction of what they were yeah you know like don't fix it if it's not broken uh, yeah that's the, that's the main thing isn't it i I, th- I think they're taking away the nostalgia aspects when it by just removing fog though come on guys I mean, thing is, it, just, it starts. It's it starts. Not an accurate depiction of what it once was, and it looks cooler with the fog. Oh. I mean, I'm not going to not play it because there's no fog. Yes, but, but it would have been nice to have the fog. Have yeah, and I don't think it's necessarily just it's the fog. It's more that's the starting point. Where does yeah. it? Where does it end? So where where does it? Where do these companies stop messling? Ugh. That was a weird word. <laughs> Mess, me, I was going to say meddling. Yeah, uh, and messing Mess, at the same time. Mestling. Let's call it <laughs> mestling. When are they going to stop mestling with with the games? Just we we liked them the way they were. Like me, I'm I'm quite excited to play Vice City again. Um, San Andreas, not so much. GTA Three, not so much. Don't care. But Vice City was a was a big game for me. That was actually my. Uh, other than Jazz Jack Rabbit, which uh, is before your time, I think. Yeah, I was um, gonna say, you've got a couple of years on us. Yeah, but other than that, Vice City was my computer game. That, okay. That was, that oh, was, fair yeah, enough. that was that was one of the first games that I actually played a lot on on PC. Like that, I lived on Vice City, but it they just touching things they shouldn't touch at the moment like the 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 gta trilogy has had such a bad reception due to the issues that it's having which the lowest rated switch game of all time yeah and you know i i want to talk now about another game that is an issue that starts with c Mm. Ah. I think I think I know. What now it's interesting because G- the GTA trilogy has actually be called been called this year's that game. <laughs> I will Cyberpunk let you- 2077. Oh, yeah. oh, I could never have guessed it. <laughs> we oh. never even bothered. Yeah. I uh, just want to straight up say that we 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 didn't even bother. I we I decided to play it. Oh, you're a better man than I am. This week. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's okay. So they've had time to iron they've out. They've had time. Yeah. That's what I thought. They'd have time. Yeah. Uh, it did a forty gigabyte update before I even oh, wow. started playing. Oh, it, okay. I've, yeah, I've got the Series X. I figure, you that know, I've got a better bad chance. Bad. I am sure. right now at a position where I cannot continue the story because the man is not appearing. There is a man that is meant to appear in Roland's Butcher. And I know the damn name because I've gone to the butcher 60 times just in case he appears. <laughs> and the guy is not there, so you cannot continue the mission. So I am stuck in the main story. I cannot continue until 2022. What, what? is that when the patch is going to be released for? Yes. It? What the hell is oh, that? Oh, come on. Man, CD Projekt Red, they were so good. The Witcher 3 is one of the greatest video games of all time. It's it's a fantastic experience. Go watch our latest yeah. YouTube if you want to find out more, youtube.com forward slash some kind of gaming. Uh, anyways, <laughs> but yeah, The Witcher, absolutely fantastic game. Loved it. Perf- perfect game, a lot of people would say. And then Even then- got even went to, ne- um, it's on Netflix as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Geralt is now Superman. It's made its way to Netflix. Love it. And like, then yeah. they come out with that steaming <laughs> pile of trash, <laughs> isn't it? it? Literally, and it, it's literally like so many aspects of the game. Mm-hmm. It's I, I don't know sometimes whether or not I'm not doing something right in the game or if the game is broken. That's how bad it is when I'm doing a mission and I'm like, okay, 
is there a button I need to press or is, is it, it just different? missing? So you should be able to have faith in the game. So it shouldn't. You shouldn't have to think that. No, no. How many times in Zelda have you thought? I swear, there's. It's not here. What I need is yeah. not here. But in the back of your head, you know it is. Yeah, you know yeah. it's there. You just never, a puzzle. Yeah, you're gonna get through it. Oh. It's not yeah, like you that. never think. Oh, maybe. maybe it's broken. Yeah, nah. Yeah, no. You shouldn't. No. You should. It, I. I do not like this culture of day one patches. I don't like the culture of releasing no. unfinished games. Oh, yeah. There was, yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. You need to fin- you need to finish your product and then release it. It's I- better to wait an extra year for the game to be released I'll, I'll and wait have wait three if you need. Yeah, absolutely. It's huh? far better Absol- than to release something and then because like look how much of, fl- of a flop it's been. Oh, and still is absolutely. So I'm sure that has cost them ungodly amounts and we know the studio has the capability of doing great things yeah, it's yeah not and that's that's the most good. disappointing part like yeah. cyberpunk could actually be a really good game and yeah. the first five minutes uh, was a little bit slow but other than it being a little bit slow i was like wow this is actually like not too bad people are whatever yeah, people complaining boring. about and then an it's hour later boring. i'm like i'm going to snap both cds i don't care that it's two discs i'm going to break both of them no, that, yeah, no. Nah. It's, it's just not good enough. It's now, I've persevered enough. because I like the story. I have... Yeah, uh, that's I, have, that, I love a good story. It's important in a game. Yeah, it, that, I mean, that's honestly one of the main reasons why I play the game, why I play games in general, is, I, is I'm okay. very story-based. Um, I, I, I really enjoy good, a good story. Oh, well, we and, all play games to get away from the real world, don't we? That's why... Yeah. Many gamers have so many problems. Mental <laughs> health is huge in gaming because we all know that it's a, a great lot of, escape. Yeah, a lot of us yeah. play it to escape and to not feel like you're alone and or, or, or whatever it is, whatever your reason is. It at the end of the day, you're escaping reality. Yeah, hundred percent. And it oh, just I love it. and yeah, it just it's a massive letdown that the game this far on is still. Like this, like it. I, I honestly don't know how to express my distaste uh, as much as I have now. Literally, I, I've been messaging my brother every night saying, <laughs> Can't do this bit. This Look bit's this. missing. I don't know what's happened here. Um, do you think that you will go back in 2022 to finish it off? Or is. No. Yeah. Fair enough. Absolutely. No. Foreign. Yeah, we, we will never play it. No. We heard. Well, we can't probably, even yeah. if we tried. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's the that's the bottom Just line. Let it go. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let Just, it go. Yeah. Watch so, Frozen and imagine, let it go. Can you imagine if a book was released with a day one patch, like any other any other physical media? If they you had to get home and you had to take. 10 pages out of a separate package and glue them into that book. That's not okay. Mm. <laughs> that is not okay. And it was, yeah, it's just a, a funny in passing thing. Somebody I liked on YouTube said like, we're releasing this new book. It comes, it's fully done. It's fully finished. There's no day one patches in our book. And it got yeah. me thinking, I was like, yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, there shouldn't be in games either. You know, what's actually really funny is uh, there is a, particular uh, YouTuber that I like, mm-hmm. uh, which I've spoken to you guys about before, Ryan George. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. he actually does a bit on, um, on on exactly on that, but with a puzzle. And oh, it is really? absolutely, okay. yeah, hilarious. He's like, you know, here you go. Uh, you know, thank you for the money, blah, blah, blah. And the guy's like, well, hold on, there's bits missing. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get around to that. We'll, we'll, we'll fix yeah. that. <laughs> we'll get around to it later. And it's just so true, though. That's the disappointing... Yeah, absolutely. It's the disappointing aspect is... Oh. It's so true. Yeah. yeah. I remember hunting for those toys when I was younger. My parents always used to get the ones that were missing the battery cover because they were like $100 off. So yeah. I don't mind if it's not complete. Just 
give me a discount, make it ten bucks. Don't make it a four hundred dollar game. You know that's not. It's, it's just not fair. It's it's not fair for the consumers, and like whatever CD projects thinking was, whether they were. You know, they were pushed into releasing it early because the consumers wanted it or whatever. I don't even know what their excuse is these days. Well, the consumers... I, I, I think it was more about shareholders. Them. Yes. Oh, yes. You're probably right. Shareholders, yeah. But, well, they just screwed themselves over, didn't they? Mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah. As it, you it, said, that's not what consumers want. No. And it's definitely not what their shareholders wanted. So... And it's not what their devs wanted either. Yeah. That's the most disappointing part. The people who worked on that game knew that that yep. game wasn't finished. Yep. Yeah, they tried to say too, but... Yep. Mm-hmm. They they implemented the police system, the, so similar to GTA, like the star, the police are going to come after you. They added that three months before release. And do you know, right, what? on that, do you know how bad that is? Yeah, mm. wow. I've, again, we've only seen footage of it, so... It seems pretty bad, though. Mm. On GTA... Yeah, but on, on GTA, if you have four stars, right, mm-hmm. you're running and you're running yeah. for a good while, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, trying to get away and they send everything after you. I love it when the tanks come after you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in, in Cyberpunk, if you get four stars, I just got to drive down the road. Cops forget about me. Really? No, literally, I just fang it down the road, 180 miles an hour for. 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and then I just come back. That's yeah. it. It's yeah. done. Yeah. And then sometimes you just be standing there and then all of a sudden you get two stars. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's just like... Hey, he looks like a bit of a dodgy guy. Let's yeah, it yeah. looks sus. Yeah, maybe yeah. you were loitering. Loitering's illegal. Did you, did you jaywalk? He oh, did I, jaywalk. I was <laughs> actually just standing. <laughs> yeah, while well, loitering. That's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, must have looked a bit dodgy. Yeah, I don't know. So that's that's the thing. I, I could have been such a good game, and I like I will not go back and finish it. No. Yeah, yeah it's a it's a big disappointment when when that happens. And to be honest, I don't think I've experienced that with any other. Not being able to finish it. Yeah, a game being I... unplayably bad. No, me neither. No. Not with like a bug or something that in the main story, like you literally can't go any further. No, it's really that's yeah, just I, like the definition of broken. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes it is. Yeah, and that's but, the most disappointing part is the game literally cannot continue. I cannot continue the game, and yeah, I'm re- I'm really sorry for all of you out there that bought Cyberpunk 2077. Be like us and don't buy it. Yeah, I mean, I I got it. Because I just had to see what was going yeah, on. Yeah, you had to yeah. know. And I under- we just watched like an hour and a half YouTube video on the subject anyway. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was enough information for us to be like, yeah, nah. nah. I, like, the, look, they've, I think this culture of fixing it later has seeped into too many aspects now. Like, if Definitely. you have a look at uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, right? Uh, yeah, Laura's playing through that at the moment, actually, on the mm-hmm. PlayStation. Okay, well, good luck. It's <laughs> it's actually it's actually a fantastic game, and I absolutely love Valhalla. It is oh, probably yeah. my second favorite Assassin's Creed game after Black Flag. Yeah, yeah, oh, really, okay, really that's good. a controversial choice, but I like it. Uh, Black Flag is the best Assassin's Creed game ever. Fair Everybody enough. else is wrong. And <laughs> Uh, I love the fact that it came to the Switch. That was like the best Switch port as yeah. well. Yes, there are some. I was I was going to mention that with CD Projekt Red, uh, the Witcher running on the Switch. Whew. Jesus, it's, that's that's a feat and a half. It doesn't look great. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't it's like you're better off playing it somewhere else, maybe. But the loading times are comparable. All the assets are there. They are there. It's there. It's, I mean, you, you, you've I got to expect. It's amazing, to be honest. I think it's phenomenal that they were able to get that on the Switch. And they spent money on extra storage for the cartridge. Yeah. So yeah. It's not just a standard Switch cartridge. It's it's a double double mm-hmm. one, essentially. It, Phenomenally. Well, good I, on you. I love it. I love playing that thing portably in bed when Laura's asleep. I love doing that. I love just playing it on my Switch. I, I think that's... 77, right? You know, a massive key is they've just some some of them do it really well, and others are just 
rubbish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and I don't, I don't know where that culture has come from. Like Valhalla, for some reason, it stops rendering in places. So there was one mission that I was trying to do and could not finish until I, and I actually think I know what the issue is with, with Valhalla. I actually think it has something to do with Xbox's quick resume feature. All right. Okay. So again, uh, Laura's playing through on the PlayStation. Yeah, what what I, mission is it? Maybe you can compare notes. Uh, I haven't it's, any problems so far. Yeah, it's it's no one. Oh, it's too hard. There's one where you got to put the guy on the back of your horse, right? Yep. Yep. One of those. And I couldn't pick him up because he wasn't there anymore. And then, oh, okay. and then my horse's skin disappeared. Ooh. And yeah, Ooh. there's actually a video that I've got somewhere that I that I downloaded of um, some guy got killed, and he is literally flapping all over the the thing. Like he's literally just, his body's just going Wee! like all over the thing, oh, like three or four that. minutes. Um, which oh, I do I do wild. have that footage, so I will I will show you guys. I would uh, love to see that. I agree, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, he's just he's just fanging around the thing, and it's just like, what the oh. hell? But I I think I, I, if for those of you that don't know what quick resume is, quick resume is uh, I think it's five games that can be in in a quick resume status. But you can basically right. click on the game, and you're exactly where you left off, without needing to save. No loading, no nothing. You just click on it, and bang, it's it's open, and you're and you're playing. And I think. Okay. For cool. something as big as Valhalla, yeah, uh, because okay. it is it is quite a big map and, and a big oh, yeah. game and, and quite intense. Looks fantastic. Oh, it's, it's a phenomenal game. I love it. But yeah, yeah. I, every time I use Quick Resume with uh, Valhalla, no dice. Okay, there'll, so it there'll sounds always like be it's, something. Sounds yeah. like it's Microsoft's problem and not is Ubisoft. Who does Assassin's Creed? Don't murder me. That that would be my thoughts. Is yeah, yeah. Um, it is something to do with the quick resume because as soon as you, to be honest, I actually thought Cyberpunk potentially was part of that as well. So I, I did try the same um, fix that normally works for Valhalla for Cyberpunk. It does not. Cyberpunk is just stuffed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's right. just trash from the get go. Like. <laughs> I, yeah, I really wanted to enjoy Cyberpunk as well. I really wanted to go in there with a different mindset to other people. But yeah. I think to do maybe the PC version is just better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, we do have quite a hefty PC and we are able to play it on that if we wanted. And we have heard that that's it's playable on there, but I don't know if I want to support that game. Yeah, like, and I don't blame you. Yeah, it's it's not even about not being able to on the PS5. It's not wanting to on the PC. Yeah, is it actually playable on the PC or is it just more playable than it is yeah, on other that's, consoles? That's exactly. the thing. I mean, the, the I reason I, I, I got Cyberpunk was uh, mainly because we do – uh, we can we can obviously see what people are searching for when they jump onto the website, and we yes. have seen a recent uptick in searches for Cyberpunk, which really? is yeah, which is obviously a game we don't stock at this point, yep. be- because of the issues that have been had. Totally. So, wow. part so of it, yeah, part of it was research as well, because sometimes we, if there's a game out there that we're not a hundred percent convinced with, we. Mm-hmm we'll pull it off the website uh, or a product or, or something like that. As, as an example, uh, I will be taking GTA down. Yep. Uh, until further notice, we, we will be removing GTA from the website and yep. anybody that purchases it between now and then, we're, we're going to give them the option as a, as a refund, of course. Yes, absolutely. Yes, it's important. It, yeah. I just, we don't... Okay. Yeah, we. I mean, we don't. I don't want those issues to be honest. Like no, cyber, no, no. cyberpunk was. You don't need that. Yeah, it was. It was a test, and it failed miserably within about an hour. You don't want to be endorsing those issues either. Yeah. No, That's and what I was idea. really hoping is it worked well on the Series X, so we can say, "Hey guys, look, 
it works on the Series X. We've tested it mm -hmm. uh, quite extensively, and I'm comfortable that we are selling it on the website and that the Series X is okay. I just couldn't. I, I just can't do it. Yeah. It just doesn't work. Oh, in, good, in good faith. Yeah. yeah. Can't. Uh, see, yeah, I, I don't understand what these companies are thinking. And look, it's that's something we did have back in the day. So we, we were saying earlier how we're so appreciative of having these Game Pass and online subscriptions and all that type of stuff. But we didn't have some of these other issues that we yeah. come across yeah. nowadays. Yeah. Day one patches weren't a thing because, or you know, a year down the track, patches weren't a thing because you couldn't. Uh, again, I didn't even know I could connect my PlayStation 2 to the internet. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. So. And, you know, I think that's a perfect, yeah. that's honestly absolutely perfect, is we, we just had a game that worked. Yes, exactly. Like, it just worked. Is that yeah. too much? To, is that really too much is to it? ask for? I wouldn't have thought so. We spend enough money on these games. We want them. If I don't like it, that's one thing. That's my problem. If Not, I can't play it, that's mm -hmm. a whole other thing. Exactly. I'm more than happy to spend eighty dollars a game that I don't personally enjoy. That's fine. More than fine. You know, that's my problem. Well, you've got you've got the opportunity to do the research, all the other yeah. bits and pieces exactly. on it. Yeah. But to have the game not work, like you hear that silence, everyone. That's yeah. what we think about it. Yeah, <laughs> just lost for words. It, it just absolutely sucks. Yeah, yeah. We could do a whole episode on day one patches. Yeah, I we reckon. could absolutely. Here's here's an interesting thing: the new uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes, Pokemon remakes that are coming to the Switch. Very excited about those. It's my birthday today, for those of you that don't know, and I'm getting them for my birthday. Day one patch is the opening credit scene. They are patching in the opening credit scene. Mm, interesting. Huh? <laughs> it's literally, literally the start. Yeah, the yeah. first impression you have of the game you need to download an update for. Mm. Huh? I, 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 just, <laughs> I just don't get it. Ben's just taking off his glasses. Yeah. He's rubbing his face. He doesn't understand. <laughs> yeah. We've got to put the start. We forgot about it. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it does. Damn. Yeah, we forgot. Yeah. And oh, we didn't like put the Pokemon in. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, the starters aren't there. Oh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, buddy classic, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's just what it honestly feels like i mean cyberpunk just feels like they just missed the boat like that yeah. They, yeah. Were, they were literally that's all on drugs game. creating that game though, isn't it that's that's a real um ship show if I'm, you will yeah. <laughs> i'm also hoping though that that game which doesn't seem to have happened especially with the gta remake but i was really hoping that that game made developers and companies a little bit more like, oh, no. Um, are holding us to a standard. We need to we need to do things better or we need to do things differently. Absolutely. But then GTA was released and it just doesn't... Yeah, yeah. GTA has been called this year's Cyberpunk 2077, which is a real shame because, mm. I mean, like you, I've, I've got some mad nostalgia for... Vice City and San Andreas, not so much three, but and as I'm sure many other people do. Yeah. So why like I would have preferred something like Nintendo has done with the NES and SNES games. Just port it. Just direct straight there you go. Dump it on there. No quality of life improvements. Charge a bit less. Yeah, because what they did is they changed the games, made them arguably worse, and now you cannot get the originals anymore. That's that's a that's good a point. crime. They removed yeah. all of the individual originals. From they ruined them everywhere. And then they took away. The yeah. Yeah. What? It doesn't like I. I'm really. Uh, I don't know if scared is the right word, but I'm a massive fan of Kotor. Right. Um, Kotor. 
Knights of the Old Republic. I am a huge fan of okay. of, of of Star Wars and Knights of the Old Republic. I played okay. I played Kotor to death. I only have just watched the Star Wars. I know, I know. Sorry, everyone. What? <laughs> uh, yeah. I know, right? I've only just seen all of them. Yep. Thank you, <laughs> COVID lockdown. You got you introduced me to the beauty that is Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand why everyone was yelling at me all these years. I'm mm. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> at least you know that's the yeah. Uh, yes, exactly. Yes, I I have been missing out. Anyway, sorry. No, sorry, no. enough. You love the Knights of the Old Republic. Yep, it's yep, yep. look. It's it's a fantastic game, and it mm. has just been ported to the Switch. It's also yes, uh, ported to mobile and all that sort of stuff. Which, Rare which, games have got a physical version if anyone's interested in a physical they've just released yes it. and i i am going to get kotor but mm -hmm. they are remastering it yes they are yeah for the ps5 and the xbox series right i i am terrified mm, okay i do not want them to stuff up this game mm -hmm. and yeah I, I i would almost prefer the port which is going to have a couple of glitches because oh. it's a direct port, I'm happy with that rather than a remaster, which is going to ruin it. Like, I also so played... A remaster and not a remake? Yeah. Oh. I, I, I played, um, when I was younger especially, uh, Star Wars uh, Jedi Academy and Jedi Outcast. Okay. And they were my other computer games, right? That's nice. basically I played Jazz Jack Rabbit, Vice City, and uh, both these Star Wars games. Now they, I was what was that? I was a Battlefront kid. Oh, Star I loved Wars. Battlefront too, like yeah. huge. <laughs> but they released these games for the Switch, and they did a terrible job of the port. Right, okay. like it, there's just glitchy stuff. Out, 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 oh, such a yeah. shame. Outcast 2 is not too bad, like but... And yeah. it'd be fine and have no obvious glitches. No, yeah. yeah. I mean... No excuse. No excuse. The Outer Worlds, it took some time, but it got there. It looks fantastic now. What are you doing? Just just take a bit more time, guys. Like, There's no need to rush it. That's, exactly. That's what I think the big takeaway. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I agree. And that actually leads us back into the online service as well. Nintendo seems to just be rushing to try to make this service worth it for people, um, which yeah. is actually something I was meant to mention earlier. Back on the Wii and the Wii U, it was free. Nintendo Online was free. So we were more than happy to not have features, more than happy to not have much of anything. We just we wanted to play our games online and we could do that for free. Yeah. So that's ultimately what you want well, for the first year service. and a half, you could play online multiplayer for free before they brought the Switch online service yep. out. Yeah, and they started charging for it. Yeah. So yeah. we're happy if there's bugs in it there. That's fine. It's free. Yeah. If you can't anything for free, absolutely. More than fine. But now they're charging for it. So we need to hold them. It, look, at $20, there's missing a few features. Okay, it's $20 a year. That's fine. But now, 50 60 bucks. Uh, yeah. I would rather them put more effort into increasing the functionality of the online service rather than adding games, which is cool. Yeah. The games are cool. Don't get me wrong. Yep, love it. But it would be really great if they just focused on making the online service better. Qu quality over quantity, right? Ah, yeah. yes. I so agree with that. 100%. We uh, just... Yeah. You just want some voice chat, Nintendo? Like, please. I've I've literally got in my notes here, online multiplayer, this is what we're paying for. That's what people want with an online service. Voice chat, this is what we want but don't get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's not what we get it for, but it's what we want yeah. in an online service. It's just, that's like the base fundamental in 20... Two things. 2021. I was yep. about to say 2077. In 2021, <laughs> that's have a lot more then. I know that's like the base, that's yeah. the absolute base yep. of what of what the online yep. content should yep. be, and it's, it's just not, and that's just it's a real shame. 
it's a, yeah, it is. It's just a real shame because I, you know, as we've said again, and again, we love Nintendo. Don't get us wrong. Not trying to, not trying to shit on them at all. They're, they're a great company. They do good things. They 100%. don't. Breath of the Wild. Yeah, mm. absolutely. You can We're gonna have to plug our most recent video then, Breath of the Wild. If you're looking for games to play before the sequel, check out our YouTube once again. Oh, there's so many good plugs. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. There. I have one more question about Game Pass for you. Is there any difference between, well, I guess, Game Pass, the online service in general? Is there any discrepancies between the series and Xbox's older consoles? Because on the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5, there are added benefits of owning a PS5 and having PlayStation Plus. Um, so the real differences really come in, uh, and this is not complicated but it is different so if, if we go all the way back to the xbox one which is yep. after the xbox 360 yes to not cause any confusion good job Go xbox <laughs> so the xbox, xbox one, one and the one s <laughs> yeah do not have certain features that okay. the one x mm-hmm. and the series s and the series x do so the One yeah. X, which is which is still the old gen, uh, yeah. does have the same features as the Series X, and that's mainly around cloud gaming. So you can cool. actually do all of that cloud gaming on the One X, but you cannot yeah. do it on the original One or the One S. You, you just can't do that that side of things. Other than that, there's no there's no real restrictions on on anything. It's just those, uh, and and I think it's got more to do with. Uh, number one, I'm 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 pretty sure there was a massive radio upgrade on the One X, so okay. uh, all the uh, speeds and in, in such are, are, are faster. Plus, it's got that 4K aspect as well. It's not. Um, uh, I believe the One S was just trying to upscale, whereas the One X is is more native. Yeah. Um, so you know, it, it's all of those aspects I think that really make it so the One X and, and the fact that they've still got that cloud gaming on the One X is awesome. That's that's fantastic that they're still giving people of that older generation uh, console sure. still access to the newer stuff because the cloud gaming is all on Series Xs. So they, they've basically got a room of Xbox Series Xs, um, which, uh, st- which are doing the streaming. So you might have a One X, but you're actually streaming from, from a Series X. And... Cool. I think my my brother actually is is very big on this because he doesn't like spending money, um, <laughs> which you know, nobody does except I do when I hear ne- new technology. But yeah. he, he right now is going, I really don't feel the need to get a Series X. Okay. Um, and I sort of, I, I, I don't know if it's a strategy, if that makes sense, based on how hard it is right now to get, the consoles, yes, uh, you yeah. know, not Rush. only to get the consoles, the parts. Uh, I mean, if you have a look at just the PC space and how much graphics cards have gone up and other bits and pieces, oh. like everything is intense. Yeah, so yeah. I, we're, we're happy we built our PC when we did that. Too. Yeah, I mean, I oh, same. I was looking at the price and I was like, oh my god, the card that I've got is would have cost me as much as what the PC was to make. Yeah, right? it's insane, isn't it? Yeah. You know, and so I don't know if it's a strategy to make people want it less, if that makes sense, to give them some breathing room. I think it's definitely a pro-consumer strategy. And it, I, I found this generation, this latest generation of the PS5 and the Xbox series of systems, it's, it's really different isn't it Mm -hmm. from from what we've seen in the past because in the past it was very much here's our new one see you later old one it might be backwards compatible it might not be ps3 many issues there but whether it was or it wasn't it was very much this is our new tech this is what we're doing all our new games are going to come out on this we've still got ps4 games being released yeah yeah it's on the ps5 they they just it didn't feel as much of a of a generation shift, I think, this time around. Not compared to the Nintendo, anyway. The Switch was yeah. a huge generational leap, and and to to be honest, sure. the Switch 
for me is pretty much what I've envisioned. Um, and I'm going to go way off topic right now, but I don't know if, if, if you guys have used um, the Galaxy series of, of mobile phones, right? The Samsung Galaxy series. I've yeah, got a Samsung one, Galaxy like 6 or something. Like, again, I'm not huge on phones. It's the one thing I don't use for gaming. So I don't need tech if it's not for gaming. <laughs> from from the Series 10 of the of Samsung, so they did it beforehand, but it really only worked from Series 10 well, is you could actually dock your phone into a computer screen and... Oh, cool. And and use use it as a desktop, right? Now the functionality wow, was that is cool, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it, you'd say the functionality was very much. Um, I don't know if you've used uh, Chrome OS, but it, it was very much like Google's Chrome OS for the okay. Samsung. Yeah, but it worked and it worked well, and that's what I've envisioned for years. I, like. Um, Again, way off topic, but Asus released a phone that plugs into a tablet. They released that like I don't know, ten years ago. Okay, where the phone actually docks into the tablet and becomes, and then the screen goes larger, so that way you keep everything, you know, going. If that makes sense, and and the the tablet had its own battery, and then it could charge the phone. Like these huge things. Uh, I feel the switch just solved, like yeah. overnight, for me. Yeah. That that was my big thing. I like to be able to dock it, and then there's oh. some games I don't want to dock. I don't, yep. I don't want to, you know. Yeah. Well, especially having a young child around, I can imagine playing Mortal Kombat on your TV is just not an option for you. No, not a fan. So, <laughs> yeah, so you need you need to have that if you want to play that brutal game you need to have the option of playing it handheld away away from prying eyes of young children and yeah. that's, that is an invaluable uh, uh, yeah, and that's what i think is so disconcerting at the moment i guess is that the xbox and the playstation 5 while the huge generational leaps mm. oh for sure what's been utilized from that if that makes sense compared to yeah, the yeah. switch if, if you compare the Switch to, to what happened with the Wii, I just don't see the the difference between those two generations, you know, if, if we consider Sony and Xbox in one field and Nintendo in the other. I feel sure. Nintendo took a much bigger leap. Def- so, yeah, I like how Nintendo has come out of the um, power race, you know? Yeah. So they, and that, that started at the Wii. The Wii wasn't even HD. So they were like, look, we're not going to make the most powerful system anymore. We're over that. There's already two massive competing companies trying to do that. We're going to innovate in other areas Mm -hmm. and have given us arguably two of the best consoles the last 15. I don't know. You could tell me the Wii's 30 years old now. I have no idea. It's getting to that age. Mm. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like they are two of the most innovative, most interesting most different consoles we've ever had Mm -hmm. and it does make me a little bit worried i think we'll talk about this next week but nintendo has recently discussed their strategy moving forward and what what their plan is and they will release something after the switch it it will happen but is that going to be a switch 2 or is it going to be something different again because like nintendo's good at doing that they they just get different yeah. There's yeah. No I, I I think if they go away from this formula right now, I reckon it's going to shoot them in the foot significantly. I, I think yeah, I that would be yeah. As I said, I think that's a that, that is definitely a topic for next week because yes. we are running out of time. But stay, make sure you catch that one. Make sure you catch next week's to where we discuss that. But yeah, look. As far as all this online online stuff goes, um, I just want to quickly mention that the there is advantages of having a PS5. With PlayStation Plus, you get access to 18 PlayStation 4 games, uh, just straight up. And there's some absolute bangers in there. Mortal Kombat's in there. Uh, Arkham Knight's in there. Uh, the Last of Us Remastered is in there. Fantastic. Uh, really excited to get on that. So, and also, obviously, 
you get a PS5. So with the PlayStation Plus, you get free games every month and you get a PS5 game if you have a PS5. It's, you mm-hmm. don't get that if you have a PS4. Makes sense. But it's not... So it is an incentive to get the PS5, but it's not a necessity. You know what I mean? It's not just mm-hmm. a whole different service. It's not completely different. It's still very much cross-generational, which is which is important with these shortages. We were super lucky to get our hands. We walked into EB Games one day and the bloke just happened to be on the phone to someone who was trying to pre-order a PS5. And we said, We'll take we, one. Can we do that? Yeah. Mm. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you're lucky because we've only got like 10 or something and we pre-ordered it. And since then, literally every time we've been into EB Games since, outside of lockdown, of course, there's been someone there asking if they can pre-order a PS5 and the answer is always no. Mm. Yep. Super lucky. So, yeah, I'm really sorry that we have one. We know people that pre order one day one and still don't have it. Yeah, still don't have it. We, we do apologize to those people. Amy, if you're listening, yeah, we're really sorry you still haven't got yours yet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, yeah, it is what it is. They are, they are great consoles, though. I, I love the PS5. I'm really, really excited to get onto it. And it looks fantastic. It does. I think it looks, it looks much nicer than the Series X, as far as I'm yeah. concerned. Um, yeah. I think they've done really well. I see a lot of people that are actually taking off uh, the plastics and plasti dipping them. I, that is oh, cool. cool. That was yeah. awesome. There's been a couple lawsuits I've seen from Sony. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, there's, there's been that too. But, yeah. um, <laughs> you know, again, subjects for subjects for next week we could, we could potentially say. And I mean, if, if you are listening to this between now and next week and, and whatever, feel free to um, let us know topics. Yeah, mm. absolutely. I, I think I mentioned in the start, if there's anything you guys would like us to talk about, please, by all means, reach out to us. Um, some some kind of low, sorry, some low grade gamers uh, at gmail.com. More than welcome to send us an email. Contact Laura or I on our Instagrams. Contact us through our YouTube or through our Twitch. Contact the Low Grade Gamer through the website. However you would like to get into contact with us, please. We'd love, love to hear from you. Love to talk to you. Um, love to hear your opinions on, on anything we've discussed today and or in the future. 100%. Or- and it's actually also going to uh, be on, the, on our website in our news section and we will have comments uh, enabled as well. So uh, people can jump in there. You can leave comments, have a discussion if you want on the uh, actual podcast itself. So, yes. you know, yeah, if there is something that you want us to talk about, go nuts. We absolutely we can Who clearly knows, talk for a while. A special guest if we like you enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I, th- I think I think we I think that's it, isn't it? That yeah. seemed like a perfect see you later segue, didn't it? Done. Yeah. Wow. There we go. Good job, everyone. High fives. Virtual high five. Woo! Boom. <laughs> we did it. First ever podcast down and dusted. <laughs> cool as. Thank you so much. Appreciate you listening, and we're going to catch you next time. Yeah, we'll see you next week. See you later, guys. Cheers.